Hey Scorpio and welcome to your reading for today. It's going to be an energy reading. We're going to see what is going on with you at this time. Now, before I get into your reading here, I got to say like the energy, the pre-energy here before I do your reading, it feels just about as, I want to say as mysterious <laughs> as you, okay, um, as your sign. Now, I know we're just coming out of Mercury retrograde here. We got a new moon on Monday. There's a lot of planetary movement right now in the coming week, okay? And it kind of feels like that, like the energy feels a little like discombobulated, like something is like being like, like it's a kind of weird energy that I'm feeling today. Something feels hovering. There's an energy of something hovering. I don't know what's hovering though. I just feel this weird, like, it feels like there's like a thin layer of a, like a dense veil, like in the middle of the room. Like, like it's not, it's so hard to describe. Something just feels kind of like, um, Like, it, something doesn't feel aligned, but I don't feel like it's your energy. I feel like it's just the general energy of, I almost want to say, like, the the con, the con conscious grid. If that even makes sense. That's just what I'm feeling right now. Maybe you know what this is. Maybe you know what this means, okay? But that's how I feel all of a sudden coming into your energy here. Hmm. Let's see, Scorpio, what is going on with you at this time here? What is it that your angels need you to know? Your guides, what's your message here? What is the message for Scorpio? Divine angels, what's the message for Scorpio? I don't know if one of you just finished like a big project or something like that. It kind of feels like like that week that, that you're working before you know you got vacation or something like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like you gotta push through that last little bit and then something gets realigned or readjusted. I don't know, something like that. The King of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. And the King of Swords and the Page of Wands. Okay, so we have two masculine energies here. We have a King of Swords and a King of Pentacles. Now, this could be the same person or this could be two different people. We're going to have to see. Right in the middle is the six, the six of Cups, which is so curious because there's two little boys on this. There's two little boys on this card. And this is how they came out. So it's like the past and the present. So this might be about two masculines who share some sort of a long history with each other. Like they've known each other a very long time, known each other since childhood, grew up together. It kind of even looks like twins, right? How weird is that how that came out? Okay, so there's something significant here with maybe someone that you've known for a long time. Some sort of a, I mean, it could even be a friendship. I don't know what this is. We're gonna have to see if this is a friendship, if this is like brothers, something from the past. I don't know why this could, this is for someone specific, but I just got this. It's. It could even be like people that are not in contact anymore, but you have like one specific like core memory with someone from a really long time ago. And that like, I just got like a, this, it's not a flashback, but it's not my memory, obviously. Like something like, like a war scene, like, you know, when you go to war and then you have like your battle bros or something like that. And it's like, you're never going to forget this person, but you don't know them anymore or something like that. Hmm. 
what am I tapping into here? Okay, so who is this King of Pentacles? King of Wands. We have another masculine energy here. The Eight of Swords in reverse. A King of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so there's a king of pentacles here who could be coming out of some sort of a bind. They're coming out of some sort of an entrapment. Maybe they're being freed from something here because there's some sort of truth and clarity. I don't know if it's a king of wands that has truth and clarity about something here. What's the, what happened in the past here? Six of Cups. Communication. The Queen of Wands in reverse and some sort of messages, information about a Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, so between these two masculines is a Queen of Wands here and some sort of a, a risk that someone has taken. Seven of, Wands, uh, Seven of Swords has popped out at the bottom at least three times now, okay? So there's some sort of deception here. Why is the King of Swords here? The Seven of Cups. The Sun. And the Six of Cups in reverse. Wow, okay. So there is some sort of confusion here. Some sort of confusion, but I feel like this is being lifted now with the sun. There's some sort of truth here um, coming out about an illusion and some sort of bad memories from the past. Okay. So I don't know if this is some sort of a rivalry between two masculines. There is a feminine that is like smack in the middle, like literally smack in the middle between these two masculines is this feminine energy and she's in the reverse she's a queen of wands in reverse so this is a feminine energy that is um not very creative she's not very confident very insecure can be a little bit witchy okay can be very alluring maybe even can be very jealous very hateful Okay, let's see what this is here. Why is this King of Pentacles coming out of an entrapment? Eight of Swords reverse. Magician. The Hermit. This has to do with maybe a Virgo, okay? The Magician is Virgo, so is the Hermit. three of wands this has to do with what somebody is planning here hold on i have to figure out what this is here what is the eight of swords reverse a journey so there's someone here that's free to move forward they're being unbound from being able to move forward in their life to move forward on a journey what are they man of, or who's a hermit? Who's a hermit? Despair. Despair. What the? What's this Eight of Swords reverse? Someone's coming out of a out of a bind because of the truth. Because there's clarity and truth in a situation. There's clarity and truth in a situation, and this is unbinding someone in their journey to move forward. What's the magician? Clock. Needs time, takes time, and time cycles. The magician is about creating, manifesting. What someone has created here. What is the magician? Thoughts. So this is about someone's thoughts. What someone wants maybe in their life. What they're trying to manifest. What they're trying to create. Or that someone here is a master of their mind, maybe, with the magician, okay? 
But why is someone in despair with the hermit? Because of text calls and emails. Because of text calls and emails. Now with the hermit, I don't know, are we going back to the hacking here? Okay, some sort of hacked text calls, emails, a silent watcher, somebody who's looking into something. I honestly feel like it's a hacker, okay? So this is about what someone was, maybe this is about what someone else was trying to create. What someone else was trying to create here over time in time cycles could have something to do with some sort of hacked communication, text calls and emails. We do have the page of wands at the bottom of the deck and someone being in despair. Being in despair about what? Because they don't want something to change. They don't want some sort of shocking news to come out. They don't want some sort of upheaval and transformation in their life. What's someone planning, Three of Wands? Not today. Avoiding a conversation call person, not dealing with someone hurt, having boundaries, being angry. Who is this King of Pentacles? Or what is someone planning here for the future? Four of Cups, yeah, ignoring someone, rejecting someone, not wanting to talk to someone anymore, not wanting to deal with a person anymore or a certain conversation anymore. But what does that have to do with someone's future plans? Knight of Cups in reverse, rejecting someone, rejecting love, unrequited love. Someone doesn't love someone, someone doesn't want to be with someone. Someone is rejecting a love offer. Someone doesn't want to talk to someone anymore. But now someone is being unbound from some sort of an entrapment because of the truth coming out and now they're free to move forward. And this has something to do with some sort of hacked or secret or hidden information or communication. And what someone was trying to manifest in the future, which is that someone gets rejected. But why is this communication unbinding someone here? Why is the truth about this information or communication, the truth about maybe hacked messages or secret messages, what people were trying to manifest here, why is this unbinding this King of Pentacles with the truth? Ace of Wands, because of, because of the truth of a new beginning. The devil. Because something was a lie. Because something was a lie. Ten of Swords. Because, or maybe because there was a plan here to take some sort of action towards some sort of a betrayal, a painful betrayal. There was something very dark that was being planned here. Having to do with a betrayal. But now somebody is being unbound from this because of the truth. What is this um, Ten of Swords? Or what's the devil? Coffin. A coffin. So something very dark, something that might even have to do with a death. Someone is now being unbound from this because of some sort of text calls, emails. And there's clarity and truth in the situation about somebody feeling rejected from a love offer or some sort of unrequited love and that someone doesn't want to talk to someone. So is it the King of Pentacles that's getting un unbound from this? Ten of Swords. What the fuck? So there's truth coming out about a betrayal, a painful betrayal. The truth about a betrayal. And this has come out twice. This could even be like a death with Coffin. The truth about a death 
is coming out and it's unbinding someone. Six of Wands. And this is a victory. This is this is a, a victory here because of a King of Cups. Because of a King of Cups? What do you mean a King of Cups? Five of Swords was trying to win at all costs here with some sort of deceptive and very evil lies. Very low vibrational lies. Who is, okay. Why is the King of Wands here? 10 of Cups in reverse. This has something to do with a broken family. A broken family, a family falling apart. Seven of Wands. And the Four of Pentacles and someone trying to hold on to some sort of control. Yeah, we have the devil here. That keep The devil keeps coming out over and over too. Something about control, something about possession. Jealousy, obsession, envy, very low vibrational, toxic anger, okay? Who's this King of Wands? Judication in reverse. Someone that is under judgment or someone that... Unexpected income in reverse. Somebody that's not getting some sort of judgment ruled in their favor. Someone is not receiving some sort of unexpected income. Or somebody didn't give someone money. Somebody didn't give something to someone. Somebody didn't receive money. Lovers. Something to do with a lover. With someone having a lover. Okay. What's the truth here? The Ace of Swords. The truth about the money. The truth about this money. The truth about the money. Or someone's stability, the money, the ace of coins, how they lied about this money, how someone has been lying about money. So truth is coming out about money, about a gift, about some sort of monetary investment, somebody giving someone money, somebody receiving money and a large amount of money, nine of pentacles. The truth is coming out now about why someone received money for what this money was for. Who received money and, and all this stuff about money. And this truth is freeing someone because the truth is coming out and it's actually unbinding someone, okay? What was created here? Whatever was created here was a fantasy, okay? Magician, it was created. And it could have something to do with hacked, text called emails about someone being in despair because they were planning something here having to do with a rejected love offer and someone not talking to someone anymore. And now the truth is coming out about a painful betrayal. Okay. Yes. The truth is coming out about a shocking attack. Someone being stabbed in the back. Okay. The truth is coming out about this shocking attack. So what's the truth? What is the truth about this shocking attack? The shocking attack in a home. Some sort of a shocking attack in a home. The truth is coming out about this. And some sort of money. Some Somebody receiving some sort of money. And the illusion that was created about somebody traveling somewhere. The illusion that was created about somebody traveling. Three of Wands. Traveling to a house. Traveling to a home to give something to someone? What were they giving to someone? What is the Six of Pentacles? No, they were giving something to an, an official person. So they created an illusion here about something that happened in a home or in a community 
about someone traveling somewhere or maybe about a cancer. Maybe they created a, a, an illusion about a cancer or somebody traveling or moving forward and they gave this to an official person. And this has something to do with a betrayal in a home. And But somebody's now being unbound from something because there was these messages are hacked and now some sort of or it's altered. I even I'm pretty sure it's even altered, manipulated evidence or whatever this is. So and now the truth is coming out about the money and some sort of a shocking attack here. Okay. All right, so what happened here in the past? Six of Cups. Two of Pentacles. In the past, somebody was contemplating something here about people working together and collaborating. Two of Wands, two, three, two. Somebody was trying to figure out, somebody was contemplating something back and forth. Somebody was weighing something back and forth. Maybe between these two masculines, because it's these two masculines, a King of Pentacles and a King of Swords. And then right in the middle is two children on a card so maybe these are like twin brothers, okay? And then somebody was going back and forth in something with their mind, like two of wands, two of pentacles. Like, could this be, could this be, could this be, could this be? Somebody was like thinking something back and forth here. And the three of pentacles about some group working together or collaborating together on something. And it has something to do with this feminine energy smack dab in the middle of these masculine. So tell me about these messages. Nine of wands. Knight of Swords. So this could be this air sign here, this King of Swords, because he's coming out now. Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, some sort of information about somebody needing to be protected or somebody not wanting to give something up or somebody defending themselves, a main female. So they came in with some sort of information, messages, communication about a main female wanting to defend herself or protect herself or stand up to something here. What's the nine of wands? The golden mirror, but this is a self-absorbed narcissist, okay? So this is probably this queen of wands in reverse, right? Okay, that's how she's showing up anyways. So this queen of wands reverse, self-absorbed narcissist, came in with some sort of information or communication needing to protect herself because of a relationship evolving to the next phase. Okay. So why is the Queen of Wands reversed here? Or actually tell me first, what are what is this that somebody was contemplating back and forth in their mind? Something about this money. What was this money really about? Someone here received a lot of money. What was this really about, this money that someone received? It's a lot of money. This person is claiming they received this money for this, this, and that. This person is claiming that's a fucking lie. She's making that shit up. So someone here was like, what is really going on with this money? I need to get to the bottom of the money. Yeah, justice and death. Temperance. What is really going on with this money and a death? and there's sirens outside. What's really going on here? Because somebody here is claiming they received money because they are the victim. And someone here is claiming that they received money because they are a hitman. What's really going on here? So somebody had to figure this out, okay? Most likely if somebody's receiving money for no fucking reason at all, it's because they're a hitman, okay? Not because they're a fake victim of something. Hank, man. And this was a moment of enlightenment. Somebody had an epiphany here. After weighing something back and forth in their mind. A king of wands did. So this might be this king of wands over here. That's right next to the ace of swords. Finding out the truth. So there's a king of wands here that wanted to get to the bottom of something. And they wanted to find out what is the truth here in this situation. What is actually going on with this money because something's weird and there's too many players and everybody's saying something different. And what this side of the coin is saying doesn't really match up with what these people are doing over here. So what's the truth, okay? So King of Wands was like, wait a minute, something, we need to figure this out, okay? We need to go back and forth here, try and figure out what is going on with this money. 
Strings. Why are you showing me strings? The page of pentacles. What's going on with this money? This financial news, or it has something to do with the queen of pentacles, an earth sign, and what someone was working on here, this earth sign here, okay? So what's the, uh, what's the queen of wands reverse? Ten of wands. This person is burdened by something or they didn't want to give up doing something. Who's the queen of wands reverse? The world. I'm trying to close out a cycle here. With Oh, or it has something to do with the king of pentacles, okay? Or it's this queen of wands reverse that it felt really burdened because the king of pentacles closed out a cycle with her, okay? Who knows? Maybe it's this other masculine over here. So tell me about this fool. So they took a leap of faith to the justice system or towards a Libra, maybe. Five of Swords reverse. Or someone took a risk on something and now they've been defeated. What do you mean someone took a risk? Somebody wanted to do the right thing. Somebody wanted to be fair. Somebody took a risk and now something has been exposed. A King of Wands did. A King of Wands took a risk on something. They looked at, they wanted to look at both sides of the story, okay? So most likely, um, the girl who cried wolf here, this Queen of Wands are in verse, who loves crying wolf, even though she is the wolf, okay? This person came up with a grand story here about how she is the victim and she is this and that and she has been wronged and blah, blah, blah. Yet she's the one with the big fat money on her account for some weird reason, unexplainably, right? Okay. So this King of Wands took a chance and was like, you know what? I feel like I need to figure out the whole story here. Okay. They took a risk doing the right thing, doing the just thing, the upright thing, trying to figure out what is actually going on here and trying to find, look at everything from a different perspective. Okay. So what ended up happening is that somebody got exposed, right? Because this King of Wands is somebody that's not corrupt. This is someone that's very fair. They're a just ruler. They're a leader. This King of Wands is a leader. And they want to do the right thing. They want to do the fair thing. They want to make fair decisions and just decisions. And they ended up finding something out. Yeah, they found out the truth about this money. Or they found out the truth that all of this was about money. The reason why this Queen of Wands in reverse is lying about being a fake victim is because of money. The reason why she first tries to attack someone else and then pretends to be the victim is because of money. It's because she received money to be a hitman along with her family and she wants to keep the money. And not just that, she wants more money. She's greedy as hell, just like all of them are. So a King of Wands here find out, uh, found out the truth about this money, okay? And now they've been defeated. This person listened to their intuition, which I feel like was exactly what they were supposed to do, okay? So tell me about this King of Swords. Who's this King of Swords? Marriage. This is somebody that was saying something about a marriage or claiming to be a marriage. Like I said, maybe with the King of pentacles and the king of swords coming out like this and right smack in the middle is literally two boys this could be brothers or maybe even twins they could be twin brothers look at that they could be brothers that are very similar okay so there was a king of swords here who was pretending to be in a marriage or claiming something about a marriage maybe even pretending to be married to this queen of wands right Pretending to be their brother, maybe. Okay. Body double doppelganger twin brother. Okay. That's that's this person. Creating an illusion. Creating confusion. How practical that they look so similar, right? Tell me about the seven of cups. Expectation. And they had an expectation that this was going to work. Oh, yeah. This is a great plan. I look like my brother. Nobody's ever going to know. Just don't ask me for my ID, okay? Or I'll just say I lost it. I left it in the car. I don't have it with me, right? 
So they had an expectation that they would be able to cause this confusion here and create an illusion. Seven of Pentacles. And they spent a lot of time doing it too. They put in a lot of work into this, into creating confusion, two of swords. And keeping anybody from finding out the truth, keeping anybody from opening their eyes and trying to see the truth, okay? Keep everybody in two minds, not knowing what to think. Which brother is it? Okay, parent trap, Lindsay Lohan, right here, okay? So what's the truth? The sun, the sun is now out though, about a king of cups. Why does this person keep coming out? Now there's truth coming out about a king of cups. Who's this, huh? Five of wands and some sort of fighting and conflict about a king of cups. Some sort of drama, some sort of fighting about a king of cups. Uh-huh. And five of cups and some sort of sadness and crying. Could even have something to do with a Pisces here with the hangman. Maybe it's a Pisces. I don't know. Some sort of truth about a king of cups and some sort of fighting and some sort of competition, conflict. What's the five of wands? Soulmates. Fighting about soulmates. Fighting about a soulmate connection. What? With the King of Cups? What's the Five of Cups? Cupid's arrow. Half faith, love is coming. Someone being sad about a surprise invitation or meeting with the King of Cups. Right. This is showing up with the King of Swords, who's the liar. Okay. Who's the one that's creating confusion. So they were creating some sort of an illusion and confusion about a King of Cups. But now the truth is coming out about some sort of a separation. Okay. And bad memories of the past. What's the Six of Cups reverse? Kisses. Claiming something about someone falling in love or some sort of giving and receiving affection in the past. But this is bad memories of the past. Or this has, yeah, bad memories of the past. What do you mean with the Six of Cups reverse? The high priest is in reverse. So something about a mistress. Nine of pentacles and the nine of wands. Saying something about someone needing to defend themselves or protect themselves. Maybe even with a lawyer because of a mistress. Uh-huh. Says the fake married man, right? Says the fake married man. Okay, help me, help me. I'm in an imaginary relationship and I need protection. Because of an ace of coins, because of a gift. Because of, um, of money, because of a money investment, because of a money gift, a money offer, a bribe. A new money blessing. The Empress. And the Ten of Cups, claiming that someone is pregnant or something about someone's mother or something about a family. The Nine of Swords, somebody's mother, Eight of um, Queen of Cups, and someone being very worried and stressed out. Okay. What's this? An emperor in reverse. And they needed control over the situation or claiming that someone is angry about something or controlling. What's the ace of pentacles? Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking. Trying to change the perception of something to do with money or a money gift or a money offer or something tangible. Whatever this ace of coins is, something tangible. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, this was a hand of cards that they played. This was a hand of cards that they played. They took a chance on this. They thought that they were being strategic with this. Something, or maybe watching, looking, stalking. Maybe something you can watch. Like, I know these people love making like weird, like home videos of themselves, okay? It's kind of strange, so I don't know if that's what this is. <laughs> Hand of cards, okay? 
Okay, anything else we need to know before I wrap this up here? Something's definitely exposed now. Or there's a king of wands who's getting to the bottom of something. He's looking at these two masculines very carefully, like under the microscope, going through all of the details and realizing that this was a setup. And now somebody's being unbound from something, uh, some sort of accusations here, because these are two brothers. And there's something that's mixed up here, okay? And this king of wands also realizing something was about money and something about these this mother. This could be the mother of these masculines, right? So if a twin brother walks into the police station with the mother and goes, yes, this is my son, twin A, who is gonna ask this lady, you know, who's gonna who's gonna believe that it's not actually twin A, it's actually twin B? You get what I'm saying? It's like I don't know, something like that maybe. Hang man. Someone's having an epiphany about a queen of cups and a hierophant. Or it has something to do with a, yeah, something that they might have told the police. Something they might have told the police. Someone's having a moment of enlightenment about what they told the police. What is this moment of enlightenment, the hang man? That someone walked away from someone because that someone walked away from someone and that maybe someone is a fucking twin, okay? Two of pentacles. What is this moment of enlightenment? Tell me more. Messages. Some sort of communication. Some sort of a message that came in that somebody brought to the authorities, okay? Or brought to someone in a higher institution. Brought to some sort of a leader, okay? About someone walking away from someone. What's the eight of cups? Love, walking away from love. Now this king of wands is having an epiphany about some sort of communication that was brought to them that someone allegedly walked away from love, okay? But in reality, it was probably someone's twin brother or doppelganger, right? Their brother that looks like them, okay? So tell me more about this hangman. Karmic relationship in reverse. Something is not a karmic relationship. You and this masculine do not have a toxic relationship at all. It's not a toxic relationship. You don't have triggers. You don't have, well, I mean, like you have probably discussions, fights, like every normal couple, but it's not toxic, okay? There's nothing crazy toxic in your relationship. It's a normal, healthy, long-lasting relationship, okay? That is very promising for the future, so... They lied about this, this relationship and they claimed that someone walked away from love. And now this King of Wands is like, you're telling me, okay, so twin A is saying that they're actually with someone else, married to someone else, and that somebody here is attacking someone, yet twin B is actually in a relationship and what the hell is going on here, okay? Like something's not, the math ain't mathin', right? Yeah, and someone here is not jealous. Someone here is not insecure. Someone here is not uh, lacking confidence or frustrated in a relationship. How are you going to say all this shit about a relationship that, you know, is... Where's the proof of this, right? It doesn't. None of it made sense, okay? So a king of wands got to the bottom of it, okay? I feel like. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.